Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Are they robbing this place? Alright. Yeah, like I, I suppose uh, it's not exactly um, Arthur's uh, nature to judge. Like he's robbed trains before, so it's not really like he can't really call them bad, uh, bad guys. Like they're not really bad guys in regards to this case. Oh, hello. Is there a stranger in town? You know, I was going to do something else, but... How do you stop... I still don't actually know how to stop a horse. Uh, I kind of have, like, a vague idea of how to get a horse to slow down. Like, they don't really have a... An obvious brake system, like, like a vehicle. Alright, um... Am I talking to this person laying on the bench? You can't assign my time. But you won't. Could be better. Do you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? No. Eh. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. You look like shit. Okay. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. I didn't ask for this. You're my accomplice. Instead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. They took everything. Oh, Weren't you paying attention? Career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeesh. Ugh. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. Doesn't everybody Solid know house. where the Compson Stead is? I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Well, but I guess I don't have to do it right now. So, I won't. Or will I? Where is Comstance Stead? Yeah, I suppose if I'm not gonna do it now, I'm probably not gonna do it for a little while, so... I guess I'll go do it now. Of course, that means traveling across the map, just so I could get his watch, his ledger, and his gun. Though I wonder if there are going to be people on the homestead, because the last time he said that the bank had acquired it, but the bank isn't just going to sit on their possession. So I wonder if I'm going to have to sneak my way around the place. Maybe put on one of them bandit masks. Anyway. I suppose I could use this trip uh, to talk a little bit about what happened in the last episode, because the last uh, part, I did a quest uh, titled An Honest Mistake, in which uh, somebody decided, you know, let's go rob this wagon that comes in through town. How do they know it, a wagon that comes in through town every single week unguarded? How long has this camp actually been here? Uh, it's hard to tell. I don't think I've been here for multiple weeks. 
Uh, so clearly there wasn't much uh, reconnaissance going on around there. Um, but obviously there's been very little reconnaissance towards that wagon because they didn't know it was the Cornwalls. And I, another previous uh, video, I talked about the idea that I feel as though this gang is setting themselves up for failure. Um, that uh, in this particular chapter, things are going to go really well for Dutch. And they're going to go really well for the gang as they... Uh, get themselves involved with the family drama that's going on in uh, in Rhodes uh, between the Greys and the Braithwaites. Um, but there's going to be a point in time in which uh, they're revealed as the charlatans they are. Um, and everybody turns on them. And then they find themselves on the run as well. Um, and I f and that honest mistake quest uh, definitely makes it feel as though like it is it is the gang that is going to do it. It is their choice of life. Uh, the entire idea of being an outlaw is what's going to screw them over. And he don't even have a proper hitch to hitch my horse. Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Huh. Now, my concern right now is that, um... the pistol watch or what have you are in the bank empty bottle old blood eyes kentucky bourbon maybe if he wasn't drinking All that June bourbon. 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Hmm. The Ascension Plantation. So it once was the Ascension Plantation, and then it became the Compton Plantation. Which... Makes me think that he- this, uh, old cowboy lied about this history. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compton, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us, and the help your pappy, and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Here's truly Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Or... Was Mr. Compton, Compton even the owner of this plantation? Or was he just uh, an employee and this pocket watch, the pistol? Um, That's the old watch. That's and the... the ledger and the pistol. And the ledger and the pistol didn't actually belong to him. Um, but it belonged to the people who came before him. Uh, I don't need no premium cigarettes because I don't use them. I don't smoke. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Huh. Yep, oh, nope. Come back to the desk. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Where is all this old crap? <laughs> 
Not in this drawer, I guess. And I guess I don't have to worry about exploring the upstairs because the staircase is shot. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. France. Huh. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? Ah, okay. Right in front of the fireplace. Convenient. Uh -huh. What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Yep, looks like I'm gonna have to shoot him. Or punch him. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Come on, man. Where are you going? Yes, deal with them by murdering them. Alright. No, I'm not taking that hat. Also, I probably should loot you. You're a squatter, but you might have some... gun oil on you? Nothing? Also, where did the gun go? There's the gun. Yeah, that is pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Yeah, that definitely seems like an old pistol. Like, it was antique even, uh... when it was, uh, belonging to Compson. Huh. So is this where the squatters were staying? Inside, uh, the basement? There's a ledger. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Huh. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy. $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Well, is that why he wants the ledger? As a proof of ownership? Uh... Because there's no way he's getting the house. And the house didn't even belong to him.
I wonder, can I close the trap door? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, so I guess let's bring this stuff back to this guy. Um, although that's the thing, he wasn't the owner of the farm either. Um, like, why does... Like, what does he expect to accomplish with the ledger now? Or the pistol that doesn't work? Or the antique watch that's broken? Oh, hold on. Oh, he's not actually that far off. Because he wasn't actually the owner of the farm. Like, he was just a worker. So really, he's taking the former owner's stuff. So what does he expect to accomplish using the former owner's uh, things? Alternatively, whatever happened to the... Uh, the slaves that worked at that plantation. What happens when the slaves on a plantation uh, that closes down? What, what happens to them? Shit on their boots. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't safe. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> you sh show some respect. I I'd give you respect. I don't think you were respected once. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, dear. They are pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history! Damn you! Damn you! That's not exactly a history you want to, uh... You need to carry on. So long, old man. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.